What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Homer is in full swing, I'm craving something light, so let's go to the store and get some lobster tails. All right, so we are going to my absolute favorite grocery store in the world, Mariano's Baby, let's go see what they have. All right, let's go get our basket, get our lobster. Lemons, lemons. Let's get some garlic. Meat case is looking good, but well, that's not why we're here today. Ooh, these are all looking great. I think we might go for these uh, wild caught big boys. Really like their uh, bread selection. I think this should go well with our lobster, little half loaves. Or this one. All right, let's go with this one here. Last ingredient, we need some butter. See what we got, so much butter. Uh, let's get the good stuff. All right, we're back from the store, got all our ingredients. It is getting super hot out here. So let's get the grills fired up and get these lobsters on. For the grills, I've got the uh, Big Green Egg Mini Max, the large, the extra large. Since we're only doing two lobster tails, we're gonna fire up the Mini Max. It's small, it gets hot quick, and it's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna start these up with these two charcoal starters. You know, you can really use any method you want. So I'm gonna put these guys right here in the coals. And then these will take about, I don't know, five minutes or so to get fully heated. We're going high direct heat on these lobster tails. They're gonna cook super fast. Okay, so we'll just leave this thing on. Let this uh, get nice and hot. So there's a bunch of different ways you can grill these guys. You can grill it whole just like this. You can cut the top, put the flesh on top, grill it that way. We're gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna split them right down the middle so we get two halves that way. You can grill the fleshy piece and then grill them on the shell to help hold all that butter, the garlic, the parsley. It's gonna be delicious. Look at this beautiful lobster tail. We're gonna put our knife right down the middle. Cut right through. Repeat on this side. And we have two, two beautiful pieces. Put these back in our little tray. For the seasoning, I'm going with Cajun. This is the uh, Cajun two-step by uh, the stale cracker. This stuff is really good, but you can really use any seasoning that you have. I like the kind of spiciness of the uh, Cajun one. It's gonna be perfect on these lobsters. Just give it a, a nice little coating on the meaty part. Ooh, these things will be delicious. Lobster seasoned, let's clean this up a little bit. And uh, we'll prep our uh, garlic butter. Of course, we picked like the hottest day of the year so far. It's like 100 degrees out here. This thing is melting on its own. But anyways, let's get this in the pan. So I have this little saucepan. We're gonna take our butter. Look at this. Look at this thing. It's just getting super soft. So we'll go about a half of this. So about a stick or so. Maybe a little bit more because it's delicious butter. We'll go with our garlic. So you can use fresh minced garlic. I like using this kind of jarred stuff. Makes it a little bit easier and uh, quicker. And this stuff is actually pretty good. So we'll go with about, oh, two tablespoons of this minced garlic. So we had to take a quick break because our camera overheated. And as you can see, the butter just smelted. That's how hot it is out here. So let's get these on the grill because I'm hungry and I'm getting super hot. All right, grill is nice and hot. Ooh, charcoal is nice and hot. Uh, lobster is ready. So we're gonna go flesh side down first. Oh yeah, we're gonna sear these off. Get the delicious grilled charcoal flavor on these guys. So we're only gonna go about two minutes flesh side down. We only get those nice grill marks, that nice char, and then we're gonna flip it over and finish it shell side down. Okay, we're gonna put this on here as well just to get this heated up and then this will go on the lobsters towards the end. So we live across the street from a, a church or a, a monastery. Monastery? I don't know what it's called. Can you hear the church bells? That's how you know that it's the top of the hour because those things go off on the top of the hour, every hour, all through the day. Okay, lobsters have been on for about two minutes. Whew, they're getting nice and hot. So we'll give these guys a flip. Beautiful char color from the, uh, from the charcoal. Whew. Okay, our garlic butter is looking great so now we're gonna brush this on the lobsters just be careful because this is fat so it will flare up on you but cooking now shell side down that shell helps hold all that in so we'll just brush this on get this garlicky buttery mixture and finish these guys off all right lobsters are done they're no longer transparent and these guys 
are looking and smelling great. So we're gonna pull them off and I'll rest them for a few minutes, just like we do with all proteins. Lobster tails are off, they're resting. So let's get our bread on and get this toasted up. You can use any kind of bread here. I like this uh, artisan sourdough, toasts up really well on the grill. So we're just gonna toss it on directly and we'll take our garlicky butter mixture and just brush it right on top. And for a little extra flavor, we'll add more of this uh, Cajun two-step right on our toast. Oh yeah. So this is kind of what you're going for, a nice golden brown. We'll grate down some fresh Parmesan. Oh yeah. Beautiful. All right, so we're ready to plate everything up and our parsley has been sitting in the sun and uh, it's looking a little dead, but that's okay. We're gonna just kind of cut off a little bit. We need some of this uh, green for a nice pop of color and freshness. So just chop this up, top it all off with some of this fresh parsley, <sighs> nice little garnish. And then we'll take a fresh lemon, squeeze some fresh lemon on top. And this thing is ready to go. All right, let's try this thing out. Lobster <sighs> is looking delicious. I wanna go for this bread first. Nice, toasty, garlicky. Mm. One of my favorite things to make on the grill is this garlic butter bread, the delicious Parmesan on top. Let's try the lobster. Just bring it in, bring it in. So just take your fork and this thing will come out. Look at that. Now that is a tasty bite right there. Oh man. Super buttery, garlicky. You get that fresh pop of lemon on top. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go with the bread. Lunch is ready. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, drop a comment, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.